Thank you for choosing Shifting Rates. Kindly subscribe to the channel and share this link. I want us to, to read something on pressure. pressure. Pressure is basically force acting perpendicular per unit area. Therefore, we are going to check pressure in solids. Pressure in solids. Pressure in solids. And we are going to take a, a question here. Because we say pressure is equal to force out of area. Then we are going to consider a question involving this. Therefore, a question is given. A question is given as a rectangular brick. A rectangular brick of of weight ten newtons measures fifty by thirty by ten centimeters. Calculate So it is good that we interpret the question well and understand it. There is an issue of maximum and minimum pressure here. It's very important. You know that since pressure is given by force, pressure, force out of area, and the force of a given solid is constant because the force will not change as long as it is on the earth surface. Then now, it means that because this body can lie on different phases with the different areas, then pressure can vary. Pressure can vary. And because we are seeing that pressure is inversely proportional to area, it means the bigger the area we are dividing force with, the smaller the pressure which will result. The smaller the area, then the bigger the pressure. This means pressure will be maximum when area is minimum. So when we divide force with the minimum pressure, we get the highest. When we divide force with the minimum area, we get the maximum pressure. But when we divide, when we divide force with the biggest area or area maximum, then we will get the minimum pressure. The minimum pressure. Considering a brick, like given here, considering a brick, Considering this brick, for example, is rectangular like this. We are told it measures 50 by 30 by 10. By 30 by 10. This means there is a face which can give us maximum area and there is a face which can give us minimum area. Meaning that different phases will cause different pressure on the ground when the box is lying, when the brick is lying. Therefore, we can talk of area minimum. Hmm? Area minimum will be the area given by 10 by 3. 10 by 3 will give us the minimum area, 10 by 3. Therefore, 10 can divide it by 100 to make it as a unit. By 30, we divide also by 100 to make it as a unit. Therefore, we will have 0 0.1 by 0 0.3. And this will give us 0 0.03. 0 0.03. 0 
meters squared. 0 0.03 meters squared. This means for us to get pressure maximum, then we will use force at the minimum area. Force and the minimum area of that brick, which will be a force of, it weighs 10, divided by 0 0.03. 0 0.03. This will give us 300 and that's a 3.3 newtons per meter squared. Newtons per meter squared. Therefore, the maximum area, the maximum area will be gotten when the maximum pressure will be gotten when area is minimum. There is an issue also, number two. A pressure minimum, which means pressure minimum is gotten when area is maximum. The maximum area for this shape will be given by 5 by 30, the base or the top. 50 by 30. 50 by 30. And this will give us 0 0.15 meters squared. So with maximum area, we can get pressure minimum. Force divided by area maximum, which will be 10 divided by 0 0.15. This gives us 66.67 newtons per meter squared. Meter squared. So generally, generally we mean if we are getting pressure maximum, then we should use the smallest area because pressure is inversely proportional to area, which means when area is the least, pressure becomes great. When area is maximum, pressure becomes minimum. So that is how we navigate through the two questions. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share my link with your friends. Thank you.